and I'm running so late. Oh, excuse me about that. I'm out of breath. I'm running around. It is 25 past six, and I wanted to be here at six, so it's going well. Um, <laughs> but if you can guess from the title, we are off somewhere really, really exciting. Desara is going to get here in like 10 minutes, and I haven't even turned the train around yet, so I don't know how much of this morning I'll be vlogging. She got bathed yesterday, so yeah, we might just be seeing you there. We here! Can't see the beach. Where's the sun? Say hi to Sarah. And legend of a husband that has come to vlog for us, but <laughs> we are in a random car park. <laughs> I've just abandoned it here. So yeah, we'll see how we go. So to be honest, I really don't want to talk over too much of this. We just had what I can probably only describe as the most magical time. Um, my only thing I really annoyed myself about is that um, Brad couldn't come with me and he knows how all the dress works and things like that. And then we were also trying to be super quick because we only had like three hours in the car. Well, we thought we only had three hours in the car. Um, so in the midst of the rush, I didn't realize that my jacket and some of my hat band had tucked in um, and it had got caught. I thought I'd pulled it all out, but I hadn't. So that's annoying. I mean, I can notice it and now you're going to notice it because I've mentioned it, but yeah. Anyway, Sara was a queen and actually we managed to not actually really make it that obvious in the pictures. So we had this quite long trek up to the beach um, and the sand was just beautiful. Look at that view. I just couldn't believe it. We got to the top and we were all just like, oh my God, this is absolutely stunning. And then Tassara got to work. So I'm going to leave you here. <laughs> it's been a long time since Dublin's been to the beach. The puddles were all a little bit scary. Um, but basically she picked it all up quite quick. We used to live quite close to a beach and I missed it so much. And this is why I booked the photo shoot. I just thought, you know what? If I own something as spectacular as this dress, I really need to get some really creative and quite magical shots with it. Um, so basically the day was just trotting up and down the beach, cantering up and down the beach, paddling in the water. And Tassara just did her thing. She is so, so good. Cannot recommend her enough. Um, but yeah, you'll be able to see what she captured and you'll be able to see what we got up to. The only slightly annoying thing is that when the dress got wet, it did mean that it was sticking more to her. So it meant my toe kept poking out. Um, so that was really annoying, but Desara was brilliant and photoshopped it out of the photos. It just means you can see it in the video, but yeah, I think if I was to go back, we need to work out a way of really tucking that dress around my feet because toes poking out was really annoying me.
So I actually also really struggled with her being quite strong. She wasn't like trying to tank off, but she didn't like the splashes on her chin and she was trying to sort of just run a bit flat, which was really annoying because you don't want pictures where it looks like you're clinging onto their back teeth. Um, but anyway, after she done a bit of the cantering, I did just go and stand her in the sea to cool her legs down, basically. Um, obviously, me being paranoid about that small leg a few weeks ago, it is totally fine, but I'm just so over paranoid. So yeah, I just sort of let her paddle, and then that was the end of the concourse section. So I am now going to leave you with some magic. Shores one month ago, I was sailing across the blue. The waters teemed with violent storms to send my boat and true. Atlantic bound, I was no more. Indian, a far off thorn. The wind and waves crushed my bone, settling a ten year score. Pacific. Why do you hold me? Why do you keep me to a war or a crime? Pacific, why don't you lose me into your Oh my god, I have lost count of how many times I have cried at all of that footage. It's just, oh, when they get older, these type of things just become so much more, I don't know, valuable. But look at this. We went back and just did some in-hand stuff with like a different outfit and a Sarah change as well because it got super hot. But look at my queen. She is just such a supermodel. But, oh, this just felt like a fairy tale with the wind blowing the dress. Oh, it's just so picturesque and it got so super warm. So it was just lovely and the water was lovely. We decided to do a few little shots sort of in the water as well. Um, at the time of this, I haven't actually had these ones back yet. So you will have to head over to my Instagram to, if you want to see more of the pictures. And when we were walking, I got soaked. Dublin splashes so much when she walked and she even got to Sarah at one point. So she was trying to run out of the water. But yeah, she was just an angel. So oh, just look at her. And then we finished the day with a nice little bit of classical Dumbling posing by herself because, you know, how many horses do you think you can let go of on a massive beach? And then she quite happily just walked on home with us. She absolutely just loves human company. So this type of stuff is really up her street. But yeah, that's a wrap. She was such a good girl. I'm running low on battery. That's how much footage we've got. But thank you so much. So excited Very to well. see it. Definitely editing this when I get home, but we are gonna head off now. Taking a well-deserved McDonald's. Um, but yes, we are all done and it was epic fun. Felt like an actual princess cantering down in the water. So hopefully, we got some good pictures. Oh, Dublin. <laughs> Bye.
back home. I couldn't finish the vlog when we were there. The car park was getting really busy uh, and we needed to like get out before we were not able to get out. Um, I mean, you saw from loading how we had to weave in the cars. Uh, turns out that was not the place to park the trailer. Apparently it was a field, but the gate was locked or shut, which is why we didn't see it. Um, but we know for next time because I am definitely going back. That was incredible. The beach was just, I mean, you saw it was empty. It was just glorious. Um, so I'm really, really, really looking forward to going back one day and hopefully taking Jordan with us. But definitely to Sarah because, oh my God, I, at the time of recording this, I have not seen anything. I've only seen like bits off of her camera. Um, and I'm just so super excited. I just hope it's okay because she was quite strong and then like, obviously like trying to hold her up. You don't want to look like you're pulling her back teeth out when I'm not. She just likes to lean. But obviously in photos, it looks a bit like, um, so hopefully, hopefully it's come out okay. Um, but we had such a lovely time. She was such a good girl. She was so, so good. So yes, I'm really excited, but I am knackered now. We left the yard at seven o'clock this morning and we got back at 10 to five. Um, it's now half past six and she's just gone back out in the field. I let her have a little nap when we got back. Um, and she's back out now to spend the night out. So yeah, Kasara said, I'll see everything tomorrow. So oh, I'm just so excited. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I guess we'll see you next time. Bye guys.